So it's like a minus seven degrees Celsius today. And I'm gonna go out and push some snow because we got another dump of it a few days ago, but I uh, didn't have the skid steer in the yard because it was getting fixed. So we got a block heater put in so that it can start because it didn't have one before so I'm hoping that that kind of issue is done and over with so it's really pretty out here right now frost on the trees you can see the barn over there you can see the goats in the corral it's fairly nice weather so Bobcat has a block heater Fortunately, so that's definitely plugged in now. <laughs> and I managed to push some snow all the way out to the trailer over there and out by the barn over there. Didn't really push any snow this way yet. Probably try doing that tomorrow. <laughs> What's up? You don't want to step in the snow there? No? <laughs> they look a lot happier in this weather. So, <laughs> a lot of you guys ask every so often, Nalin, what are your hobbies? Well, my hobbies for as long as I can remember have been reading books and collecting books and any avid bookworm or book collector will tell you that the two are indeed two completely different hobbies. So besides doing the YouTube and also, you know, working with animals and just, you know, training animals and playing with animals. I love to read books. I have a lot of different kinds of books. It doesn't really matter what kind it is. Typically, uh, my least favorite probably would be sci-fi. I'm not a huge science fiction fan, but for the rest, I am actually a very huge fan of fiction, nonfiction, any, any kind of books really. So, my current bookshelf that I have, uh, as you can see, is getting quite full. I'm double stacking <laughs> rows already, so that's a bookshelf that I made with my mom like two years ago now. It was custom made for a space in my old house and I decided to take it along even though it was really big and oversized. I just couldn't leave it behind because of the sentimental value and because I didn't really have any bookshelves here to put it in. So what I decided to do yesterday was go to the store, buy a bunch of wood, and make a bookshelf with my fiancé with the same blueprint as the other bookshelf. So this bookshelf itself is 13 foot long. <laughs> and just over six foot tall. So this has like a lot of room. This probably could hold all of my books that I currently have, but as you know, lots of people who collect books just can't stop. So this top shelf here is kind of just like a little, it's a bit of a dinky shelf, but it's perfect for these mass market paperbacks. 
As you can tell, I like my westerns as well. So there's some Louis L'Amour, there's some William Johnston in here. I got True Grit here, as you can see. And then what I have here are some finds that were from Value Village. I haven't read these yet and I still have to take the stickers off, but fun fact, Value Village thrifting books. You get them for a lot cheaper because this is a hardcover for $6 at Value Village. And if you flip to the inside, you pay $35 Canadian for a book like this, brand new. So I, <laughs> I am always out for a deal when I'm looking at Valley Village. Like even this one, this is a young adult fantasy novel. And the price is probably on the back cover here. Oh, just kidding. It's completely on the back. This is $23, $24 Canadian and also $6 at Valley Village. So like, if you're looking for books, try thrifting. It saves a lot of money, but yeah. So the space in between here is basically one of these books plus an inch so that there's a little bit of space and makes it look kind of nice and fits well. So that is like 10 and a half inches. And I still have to fasten this to the wall with an L bracket or two. So then it's completely stuck. But I made this yesterday. It took probably an hour, an hour and a half total, maybe, not even. The materials all together cost me about $250 Canadian. And this is just, you know, raw pine. So say what you will, but I love the look of this. It's light, it brings more light to the room. I could stain it, but then it still doesn't look as bright as I want it to. And I am really happy with how this looks. These little extra pieces are so that these pieces don't sag because there was already some sagging happening. So now the shelves will stay straight even if I put a bunch of books on there. So, and these are all movable. So if I need to in the future, I can move these over a little bit this way and add two so that there's even more support in there. That was my sister's idea. So I think that it would be maybe necessary in the future, but I'm, I, I'm not going to do it right now. I'd much rather just get this shelf filled with books. So <laughs> I'm really happy that I finally decided to do this. I've been thinking about how I want to utilize the space in the basement for a few months now. And if you guys are also avid readers, let me know what kind of books you guys love to read. Like I, I'm seriously up for pretty much anything. I love fantasy. It's probably my favorite genre, like dragons and wizards and magic. That's essentially my favorite. I have read Lord of the Rings, Aragon. I even jumped on the bad bandwagon and read Fourth Wing. It wasn't overly good, but yeah. So that is one of my most beloved hobbies is reading and collecting books. So I figured I would show you guys the newest addition to my <laughs> collection of my own home library. So this is like a brief overview of a bunch of books that I have so that you guys don't like double up on the recommendations. I'm really calling myself out here with all of the Warrior Cats books that I have. This was something that I started reading when I was like 13, maybe even 12. Some Bridgerton and just a bunch of young adult novels that I have collected over the years. I really loved The Hunger Games. I think I've read each book like seven times. Ink Heart was really good. And like the Vampire Academy and House of Night novels I don't really read anymore. Of course I read Twilight. I'm still debating thrifting, like sending them to the thrift store. And these are like all of the novels that I read as a kid. So like Geronimo Stilton, there's lots of Animal Ark in here. There's some Phantom Stallion, Pony Club and whatnot. But 
yeah, that's about it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.